Now, your vinegar eel culture, put a date on it because it's amazing. You'll find they're several years old. Use a good sized bottle. It's half water, half apple cider vinegar, and a chunk of apple. Then you add a starter culture of vinegar eels that you got from someone else. They don't come out of the sky. You're going to have to do something with them. Now, to keep other organisms from getting in, put a paper towel with a rubber band. Now, for the harvest separating, you want to get a bottle. There's one shape there that has uh, a nice straight neck. This was a hot sauce bottle. Uh, that gives you a nice straight neck. You want the reservoir at the bottom to hold the vinegar reels. This is like a really cool bottle I got at the dollar store. It doesn't have a straight neck, but it's got a really exact little dividing point for you to put your um, divider material. This one is my favorite. It, it was a rice rice vinegar, rice wine vinegar bottle uh, that I got at uh, Walmart for like $2.00. Uh, I dumped out the vinegar and just kept the bottle because the bottle was worth $2. Now, I don't know who figured it out, where it came from, whatever, but I saw it someplace, and you take some polyfilter or uh, some polyester or something, wrap a string around it so you can pull it back out or pull it up if it falls. Now, you're going to slide that down right to that middle spot where the vinegar comes up, and you're just above where the straight area is. Now above that we're going to add water. So to show you how far you pour it in, of course I'm left handed so I'm going to try and do this backwards so you can see. Uh, if you have a little funnel that would be obviously a more intelligent way to do it than pouring a big neck into a skinny neck which is almost guarantees you're going to have a big splash someplace. I have four or five of these different bottles whichever one I feel like using is what I'll use. Now you can see this is almost up to that spot. Once there, we're just a little bit above the straight spot. Uh, doing it that way makes it a little easier as far as getting the poly in without it collapsing and falling to the bottom of the jar. Now you're going to take your, your little poly material with the string. I use fishing line. And you're going to push it down with a pencil or a piece of tube or something. You want it so that a roughly half to two-thirds of it is in your vinegar. Okay, so that's kind of a dividing line, more as much for you as it is for the eels. Now, the eels got to come up to get oxygen. So, if we put plain water on top of it, do it slowly so it doesn't mix. Uh, if you put plain water on top, when the vinegar eels come up, they're going to go through the poly material out of the vinegar, through the poly material, up into the clean water that you have sitting on the top there. So you can see how that works. Then it's going to be extremely easy for the vinegar eels to go up there, up through the poly, up to the top, and now you've got water and a slew of vinegar eels. Now this is, I did that at night, this is the next morning. So there's my bottle, there's my divider, and when it comes into focus, you can see that the water on the top here did not discolor from the vinegar. It's still just water, but it is full of vinegar eels. These little plastic oversized eyedroppers I get at the pharmacy, they're for giving baby's medicine or something. I don't know. They're about $2. Uh, and then I will take them, and you can't really do both at the same time, but I just squirt it in, try to swish it around a little bit, squirt it into the tank, or containers that have the really really small fry. Now this is German Blue Rams. They got a heater set at 78 degrees. They got an airline for some air movement. And there you can see the actual little fry down in there that I'm feeding this to. So there's a lot of them. So I'm going to go back for some more vinegar reels. And I'm going to squirt them in there. And then those little guys on the bottom will have some nice food showing up for eating. Now, put in new fresh water in the top of your, your uh, harvesting container so that you get it ready for you on your next feeding. 